Is this rolling? Are we on? We're on. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Danny K, your lovable host, Sonic Flare, back in action. Have we taken things too far with Hi Fi? Have we gone overboard, streaming, cassettes, reel to reel, records, uh, radio? Just, is there too much information going on? Can we go back to a simpler time? When you had one source, maybe two sources, let's find out. Shot that on my iPhone with the Moment 1.33 anamorphic lens. Really cool effects. Anyway, back to uh, the subject on hand. So for those that are tuning in again, or perhaps for the first time, a warm welcome back to Sonic Flare. I am your lovable host, Danny K. And today I want to talk about not necessarily a review, but more of a, a question, I guess. And obviously feel free to comment down below what your experience has been throughout your journey with hi-fi and high-end audio and record collecting, CD collecting, whatever it may be. And that is this. So as some of you may know that have been following the channel, thank you for doing so and sticking around. I really appreciate it. I promise that content will be forthcoming once we're set up. Uh, to those just tuning in for the first time, we've been on a whirlwind tour, literally for the last 18, 19 months. So we left Los Angeles back in February of last year. I packed up all of my hi-fi gear in probably around the end of January, I think it was January, 2022, and uh, took on a, a great new uh, opportunity with work. And that brought us into Budapest, Hungary. And if you haven't seen my last video, you should probably check it out because it'll explain why we're back in a lovely town called Windsor in the beautiful state, vacation state of Maine, East Coast. And so go check that video out. It'll explain what happened, why we're back after 19 months of uh, this crazy adventure we've been on. And more importantly, I guess, the, the, the point was, I've been without hi-fi since January of 2022, if you can believe that. Now, to some of you, that may seem like, eh, you know, what's the big deal? You know, you've got your AirPods, you've got your AirPod Max, you've got your HomePod, you've got, you know, any which way of listening to music. It's not the same, trust me. Once you've seen and had experienced the system that I had in our old home in uh, Los Angeles, go check out some previous videos with, uh, you know, fronted up by the Wilson XVX and, uh, you know, everything you could possibly think of, right? I mean, the, the, the complexity of it. It was, you know, friends of mine called it the lab, right? Because it was like, you want to go test something? Go see Danny K and play it and, and he'll, uh, he'll expose you to what, what you're trying to figure out, what you're trying to listen to. And I guess it, it just, you know, the question that came back as, as we are starting to unbox things and un, unbox and set up, and of course, my primary hi-fi room is not yet finished. We ran into some delays with contractors and uh, that's not gonna get finished until the end of the year. So I'm basically here in Studio B of Sonic Flare headquarters. And it's essentially a, a minimalist system, what I would call, right? And so my question was, gosh, you know, as I was unboxing stuff, you know, the first thing I got to, because it was the, the biggest box right in front, were the uh, Wilson Audio Tune Tots, right? The tiniest, of Wilson speakers 
And you know, I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't heard music. I have not heard music since January of 2022. I gotta set these guys up. And the next thing that I pulled up was the Einstein integrated amp and um, the, the Einstein uh, turntable. And of course, small Einstein phono stage. And, you know, I've, I've, I've known Volker and Annette from Einstein, gosh, since, since 2004 or five, so almost 20 years now. And we've become great friends throughout this time. And, you know, I've used their equipment as my reference uh, for pretty much, I want to say like 13, 14 years now, 15 years maybe. I've had tons of stuff come in and out for review. Uh, tons of stuff that I love that's come in and gone, unfortunately. Um, but overall, I, I hung on to the Einstein gear just because it speaks to me, right? It's, it's wide open sound, it's dynamic, it's explosive, it's expressive, it's got shove, it's got, you know, the, the, the openness we crave for and want to hear these recordings. And, you know, again, it, I, 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 you know, I grabbed this Einstein integrated, I grabbed and set up the turntable, the, the little phono stage and I started playing records and I was like, you have got to be kidding me. It was awesome, right? It was just, you know, the little tune tots, way too small for the size of the room that we're in here. But still, even though I hadn't set them up perfectly and properly, I was just like, oh my gosh, there's sound, there's music. I can feel it, I can hear it. And it was just an awesome experience. And I, I, I literally sat here the entire day. I mean, the house is a giant mess. There's boxes everywhere. My wife was like, dude, what the hell are you sitting on your butt for? Start cracking on unboxing. I couldn't. I couldn't. I, I had to listen to music, right? The next thing I pulled out was the Einstein CD player. And frankly, again, going back to my earlier comment, I hadn't used it in a long time. Uh, you know, I had streaming. I had, you know, the, the playback designs. I had the Meitner amazing MA3 DAC. And that was kind of like the front end of my system. And, you know, the CD player from Einstein was just, you know, if I used it, I used it as a transport. And now I, I, I didn't have any of the other stuff, any of the other DACs and streamers. And I was just putting on CDs. Like, for example, ha, the Sex Kittens of Hi-Fi. Great CD that came out. Uh, Kevin Grant, Steve Hoffman mastered this, right? And it's, it's basically all the, the famous... Uh, jazz blues lounge singers lounge singers not really blues but lounge singers from the 50s and 60s uh you know marcus miller great electric bass absolutely stunning and uh you know gold frap right uh christy moore fantastic live album if you want to hear christy moore irish guy um him and his guitar just stunning right and then of course you know records i mean what do they play for records records more new records the awesome new release, Jacob Pistorius from Rhino. Highly recommend you get this. Check it out. It's a, it's a stunning release. Done all analog, Kevin Gray. Beautiful packaging. Gatefold. Came out in 81, I think, or 82. Stunning album. You know, Ian Carr, Nucleus. Amazing. Absolutely stunning. Got this from Analog October, which, by the way, there's going to be some cool content coming with Craig and I and Analog October Records. If you haven't already seen on my Instagram post, he's got his first record coming out. So he, he started a new record label, Analog October Records of all names. And uh, he's gonna be reissuing really cool stuff. Electro Keyboard Orchestra, super Japanese funk. Uh, or this ERC, Bill Evans Trio, Portraits and Jazz, right? Stunning. So what was the point of all this? The point was, I was listening to music in a very minimalist and simple setup. No frills, no fancy footers, no gizmos, gadget, cable lifters, which I don't use anyway, but you know, no crazy power conditioner. And it was awesome. It put me where I needed to be. Then the next thing I unboxed, I, I found them uh, it, way back in the, the, the garage were the Einstein, the pure speakers, multi-box setup absolutely stunning speakers i've had these for 
gosh, probably, I think since 2016, 2015, 2016, somewhere on there when they were first introduced. And, you know, I, I, I played them for a long time and then I, I, you know, started getting other speakers and stuff and, and they kind of, you know, went, uh, went back into, uh, to, to the garage and I hadn't heard these in so long and they're such a phenomenal speaker. I mean, yes, they're, you know, contrary to the tune tots, they're big, the ballsy, they've got bass, they've got, you know, the 700 watt ice powered subwoofers built in, uh, but they're crossoverless, right? So the, the mid-range driver, Fostix mid-range driver is directly connected to the speaker input terminal. And so what you hear is literally what your system is outputting, right? Which is one thing I love about these speakers. And then the Fostix super tweeter, which is a, uh, a horn, um, is, is, has a 6 dB slope. And, uh, and that's it. So it's a crossoverless speaker, right? And, and this yet again, it completely extracted even more music out of the conversations, out of the, the listening, out of the music. And gosh, it, it sounds just awesome. And, and I was driving it with the Einstein integrated amp, right? No fancy pre-power combo, no, uh, again, no megawatt amplifier. I think the, the integrated amp puts out 120 watts, 115 watts per channel into, uh, into eight ohms. And uh, again, it just sounds awesome. And I go back to the same question of, have we overcomplicated things? Can you enjoy hi-fi with a simple minimalist system? Absolutely you can. And I encourage anyone that wants to get into this, you don't have to get distracted by all the big stuff. Does that bring you closer to the equation? Absolutely. Does that bring you even more in tune with the music? Yes, it can. But do you need it? Well, that's the question. And I, 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 you don't, right? And so I encourage everyone to just kind of, you know, go back to basics, listen to music. That's what this is all about anyway, right? I mean, I can't tell you how many people I know that have mega buck systems and, and you know, you, you, you go through their record collection or CD collection or streamer or whatever, their playlist, and it's the same six songs over and over again and it's the same 10 albums over and over again. And, you know, I guess that's cool. I mean, if, if, if that's, you know, if, if you only have like 10, 15 records that you really, really are that passionate about, you know, I guess that's, that's who you are, right? But to me, you know, with probably close to 10,000 records, which at some point I will have to start thinning out because it's just overwhelming. Um, just this move alone has really kind of emphasized that it's just too many records, right? And then I probably have around, I don't know, 1,500 CDs, maybe 2,000 CDs. And again, most of them I've, I've not listened to in forever since I digitized them on my NAS. And, uh, but again, I, I, I brought them out, the ones that were close by and, you know, man, it, it, I tell you, there's just something about the simplicity of grabbing a CD, putting it in your CD player, twisting the knob on, on the Einstein or pressing play or whatever, and just kicking back, no remote control, no skipping of tracks, just play it from start to finish. Awesome. And that closes out this lovely episode. Thanks for tuning in. There will be more content, I promise you. Thanks for sticking around. And uh, again, feel free to drop comments below. Let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. It helps drive the message forward. And I look forward to chatting with you guys soon. Peace, love, and hair grease.